Hey guys, right here I have a 2014 Hyundai Elantra 1.6 high spec. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. Apart from the base 1.6 standard manual that gets a regular keyless entry with a key to start system, the rest of the prefacive MD Elantra range in Malaysia comes as standard with Hyundai's smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the black button on any of the front door handles. And to unlock the car, just press the black button again. Along with that smart keyless entry is a push button start system. So to start the Elantra, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button to the right of the steering wheel. The MD Elantra features a rack and pinion electric power steering system. A leather-wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2 is standard across the lineup. <laughs> the 1.6 Elantra is available with manual or automatic transmissions, both being 6-speed units. The automatic transmission comes with Shiftronic manual shifting capabilities. Rear parking sensors can be found throughout the range. The Elantra High Spec gets safety features such as two airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force, distribution, brake assist, electronic stability program, vehicle stability management, an alarm system, and mobilizer, and ISOFIX child seat anchor points for the outer two rear seats. Alright, let's turn on the hazards, lights, front and rear fog lights, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. Sixteen inch five spoke alloy rims wrapped in two zero five fifty five R sixteen tires are standard on Elantra one point six. The front brakes are ventilated discs, while the rear brakes are solid discs. The suspension is McPherson struts in front and a torsion beam setup at the back. The Elantra is Hyundai's C segment contender. The nameplate first appeared in nineteen ninety on the replacement model for the Hyundai Stella. Since then, six generations of the Elantra have been built, with the latest sixth generation AD Elantra going on sale in 2015. The Elantra in the video is part of the prefacive fifth generation MD range. Depending on the region, the MD Elantra was on sale between 2010 and 2017. The MD Elantra first debuted as the Korean market Avante at the 2010 Busan International Motor Show. Alongside the LM Tucson and the YF Sonata, the MD Elantra was one of the first few models that rejuvenated Hyundai's image and lineup nearly 10 years ago. Compared to the decent but boring looks of its predecessor, the MD Elantra gains Hyundai's first edition of the fluidic sculpture design language, which gave the car flowing lines, swept back headlights, and an overall good looking stance. Powering this Elantra is Hyundai's Gamma 1.6 litre, dual of 8 cams, 16 valves, Naturally aspirated inline 4 petrol engine with multi point fuel injection and variable valve timing. It produces 128 horsepower at 6300 rpm and 157 Nm of torque at 4850 rpm. 0 to 100 km power takes 11.6 seconds and the top speed is 195 km per hour. Fuel tank size is 48 litres 
and the combined fuel consumption for the Lantra 1.6 automatic is 6.7 litres per 100 kilometres. Carbon dioxide emissions is 159 grams per kilometre, and the Elantra is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the Elantra high spec include automatic manual leveling halogen reflector headlights, front and rear fog lights, indicators on the side mirrors, and body-colored door handles and side mirrors. bottle holder, storage, more storage right here, window controls, all of the windows in this car are powered, while the driver's side is the only side that gets a fully automatic function in both directions. Window lock, central locking, and your mirror controls. Stability control, brightness adjustment, headlight level adjustment, Elantra floor mats, pull this lever to release the boot lid and pull this lever to release the fuel door. Hyundai door sills and the driver's seat in this Elantra 1.6 high spec gets full manual adjustments. This one controls the seat back, this one controls the seat height and this one down here controls the seat position. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how she rows.
very simple air conditioning controls fan speed air conditioning temperature maximum air conditioning recirculation different modes and your front and rear defrost storage more storage cigarette lighter or power outlet depending on what you use it for auxiliary and usb ports cup holders and a bit of storage behind the cup holders digital clock and outside temperature display above the head unit the Elantra High spec comes with an integrated head unit with various media connectivity options and six speakers for the sound system. I must say, the stock sound system that this Elantra uses is actually quite alright. It is a simple head unit to use, MP3 enabled CD player, eject button, seek track, FM AM, CD, auxiliary, USB, 6 preset stations, volume and power, tune and file, setup, enter. Now once you enter the setup menu, use the volume button to go through the different menus and hit enter to select that particular option. On the setup, you do have your main settings where you can activate your scroll options, speed dependent volume control, media settings, power base, and your audio settings. And the audio, you do have your bass mid travel, balance and fader, display settings where you can turn off the display, your auto store button information and your different folders. Central locking. On the steering wheel, the left spoke houses your volume controls and your mute button, while the right spoke houses your seat track buttons, your different mode selection button, and your trip and reset buttons. Now these two buttons down here go through your multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Right now, range, average fuel consumption, instant fuel consumption, average speed, elapsed time, eco driving, user settings, with your vehicle settings, locks, lights, and all that. Trip A, Trip B, and back to your range. On the right stall, light and indicator controls. And on the left stall, wiper controls. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Adjustable front center armrest with storage down below, manual dimming, rear view mirror, sunglass holder, front reading lights, driver side sun visor gets a vanity mirror and a light. Now, the light mechanism works in such a way that if you forget to turn the light off, just close the visor and the visor turns off the light for you. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup, we can turn it off right now and continue with the rest of the tour.
window control, speaker, bottle holder, and storage. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I only get about this much in terms of headroom. While it may not be the most spacious back here in terms of headroom, leg room is decent and the seats are fairly nice and comfortable. Single storage pocket on the driver's side front seat back. Rear center armrest with cup holders. And right above, for both sides at the back are grip handles. And on the right side, there is a hook as well. Cabin light. pop open the boot lid, you can either use the lever inside the cabin that I showed you earlier on, the button on the key fob or a touch pad beneath the Hyundai badge on the boot lid itself. Boot space in the Lantra meshes 420 litres. For extra space, the 6040 split folding rear seat bags can be folded down by pulling the levers on either sides of the top of the boot. Under the boot floor is the vehicle's spare tyre, tool kit, jack, warning triangle, and first aid kit. Adjustable headrests front and rear. Window control, storage areas, bottle holder, and speaker. The front passenger seat in this Elantra gets full manual adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as the driver's side, just that this side loses out on the height adjustment.
storage together with a power outlet nicely sized glove box grip handle for the front passenger and the front passenger's sun visor gets a vanity mirror with the same light mechanism as found on the driver's side Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2014 Hyundai Elantra 1.6 high spec. Thanks for watching and goodbye.